Hello everyone, Pally Tub here, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. We are continuing our deep dive with Rexar. In our previous episode, we showcased the Unleash Boar's heroic ability. I just checked this talent's pick rates, and it is used in 75% of the matches. However, when I think of Rexar, I kind of think of him as a secondary character. The real hero here is Misha. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your bear as well as bestial wrath. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Check out more of our deep dive videos in the playlist in the video description. We are constantly adding new content to that playlist. Thank you all for being here. And without any further ado, let's get into today's game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Braxis Holdout. No, the other one. Warhead Junction. Here we are. Uh, the friendly team today, Rexar, Lucio, Mephisto, Diablo, and Vala, the enemy team, Malfurion, Asmodan, Artanas, the elite Tasty Citrus, and Greymane Syndrome. Uh, I'm going to try my very best to make a Misha-centric build work for Rexar today. However, when you look at these talents, it's very clear that Rexar needs a little bit of love in making these even, at least, at least to me. Birds of Prey... As we saw in our previous spotlight for Rexar, can clear a lane and basically two casts. You, you Q one time, you W one time, the lane is completely gone. Easy Prey is a little bit different. So we are going to deal bonus damage to monsters and mercenaries, but only with Misha's auto attack. So the charge doesn't do anything extra. Uh oh, let's try to peel for the root. Call Misha back. Well, I'm leaving. The charge doesn't do anything extra. It's just the auto attacks that Misha does that will change it. Misha loves vision, doesn't she? <laughs> However, we do also get a little bit of defense on Misha versus these minions and mercenaries as well. Notice it doesn't say monsters, so objective beings do not count. But it does mean that potentially we can move out and take a boss relatively easily with this setup. I messed up that stun a little bit. That is on me, but I did help out with the body block a little bit. Also, Misha's taking half of the tower damage, so Diablo was able to stay there for quite a while. That is my fault. That is my fault. I messed up that stun. It was on me. Uh, so theoretically, um, Misha has 50 armor to this guy right now. Even after the armor gets shredded, she still has 30 armor. So really, Misha shouldn't be taking a lot of damage. And I can prioritize taking camps like this whenever I want. Now, just because she's not taking a lot of damage doesn't mean she's dealing a lot of damage. This is super slow and not satisfying at all. But there might be some ways around that as we continue to build out the character. So, friendly team level three, closing in on four relatively quickly. At four, unfortunately, we are going to have to take Hunter Gatherer again, more than likely. Misha having her auto attacks heal her could be good, but giving Misha even more armor means she's basically going to be immune to mercenary damage. 75% or 65%, I think, is what it turns out to be reduced minion damage, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like Asmodan is still pushing bottom lane. That mercenary camp stopping him for a little bit. I'll head down there after this. We are about to see Warhead spawning. It's almost like I've played this game before. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to... What are you doing? What are you doing over here? I'm going to try to back before then just so I can get some mana and I'll head down to the bottom lane and try to contest that. Looks like I will be a little late for this, but luckily Diablo is in position and taking a lot of damage from the minions here in lane. In five seconds, we'll be able to contest. I'm on my way right now. Update. Oh, looks like Asmodan left. Oh, Greymane Syndrome's here. I'll try to look for him with Misha. I can body block here. Oh, she didn't leap through. Oh, that was almost perfect. Okay, falling back a little bit. We'll send Misha back over to the right. I'll go for the channel now. Rexar can continue to micro Misha even while he is channeling, at least movement-wise. I don't think I can give her a command. 
like a attack command. Pulled her out just in time there as Greymane was jumping in. Enemy team has two nukes right now and they're about to take a third. Even though we have a slight XP lead, that's still pretty scary. Misha's basic attack lower, Misha charge cooldown. So as Misha goes in and she attacks our enemies, she will be able to jump on top of them more often, stunning them in place. Unfortunately, we did lose Misha there and the bombs are beginning to fall. Great interrupt by Diablo though, saving us a little bit of time. If I did have Misha up, I could have interrupted that myself. More reason to keep her alive for sure. Uh, I was gonna say, there's no way they just left the lane, right? Let's micro Misha up while we're rooted to get a little bit better of a view of what's going on. I also want to take this vision up here if I can. And my timer sense is tingling. 25 seconds until that mercenary camp is ready to go again. Enemy team is up in the top lane, dropping the nukes up there. They did take down Mephisto, and they are pushing completely free. Uh, I'm going to try to head up there and see if there's anything I can do, but it looks like it might be a little too far gone. A little too far gone. I could spend the time walking up there to then see the building die in front of me, or I can just assume that that building is dead and start this mercenary camp. I think that is the more effective play, personally. Uh, Misha in the corner means all these guys are going to focus her. Remember, she still has 30 armor built in here. Our region globe quest is a pretty hefty one. Uh, we are going to have to pick up 25 region globes, so that is going to need to be one of my main focuses here. Uh, and on a map like this, that could be hard, because it's a pre pretty big map. Not very easy to rotate in between lanes here at all. Malfurion did use his nuke on the bottom lane. Enemy team is uh, very much in control of these objectives right now. Let's see if we can start to fight back. Uh, slow on to the enemy team's Azodan. I don't think there's too much else I can do. We see three people on the map above us fighting with my team. Uh, let's go ahead and heal Misha. I'm trying not to have her in the dunk because I didn't... Wait, 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 wait. Body block. Body block. Very close. <laughs> I almost fucking had it. When I saw his armor getting getting melted, I was like, wait a minute, I can do a lot of damage here. Uh, we are level 10 and I am going to take... Oh, that sucks. I am going to take Bestial Wrath. What the fuck was that pathing? I'm upset. Uh, Bestial Wrath is going to make it so Misha's attack damage is increased by 200%. Now, once again, that's only basic attack damage. That doesn't give a steroid to Misha charge. But don't worry, we have a way of getting that too with Dire Beast. And all we have to do is attack with either Rexar or Misha, and that's going to up the damage of that too. So this is an extremely Misha-focused build. We do not have the homing boars to lock down our enemies, so our engage is a little bit weaker. But assuming that they are fighting into me, we should be significantly stronger. I hope. That's what I hope. I, I'm upset about how I died there. That was 100% pathing. But it's in the past. It's behind us. Let's send Misha out onto the enemy Malfurion, jump over both these guys and then slow them so I can reposition. Early heal onto Misha as well, just to keep her health high. We're also seeing <gasps> Malfurion caught in the root. We're gonna stun right after that, improve Misha's damage with my ult. And there we go, the healer is taken down. Uh, I'm also trying to slow the enemy team's Asmodan here. Let me go ahead and stun that channel that he was doing, and then I'm going to try to call Misha back, but unfortunately, ETC with that knockback did sentence her to her death. Now, when I lose Misha, that is a very, very big deal because so much of our build is built around her. I am not very effective on the field at the moment. Uh, I'm assuming the friendly team can take that top, uh, that middle nuke, no problem. I'm going to go for the one down here, and then I'm going to try to immediately use it. Looks like we do have a little bit of free space here with the enemy team being dead. Uh, I'm just gonna have her tank this tower for me, and then I'll fire that off right here. Perfect, thank you, Misha. Love you, let's get this club. Get it. Thank you. We're at 10 out of 25 region globes, so quite a lot more still to go. Looks like a double nuke being used there, bringing the building down to half HP. For those of you that don't know, nukes get a lot stronger on this map at the 14 minute mark. If you ever were closing in on that and you had a nuke in your inventory, it's probably worth saving it. Up until up until that point, you can see we just kind of tickle buildings with 
the nuke damage. Uh, enemy team back on the field. Everyone's respawned. We have a slight, very, very slight XP lead, but they just caught up now. Dire Beast is going to improve our charge damage as we auto attack. And I believe, yes, underneath my health bar here, you can see what our stacks of that are at. Uh, I don't typically micro this too much. I, I, I don't really focus on capping it off. I just use my charge and then I benefit from extra damage naturally from just playing, from, from just looking at stuff and fighting. Does look like there is a fight beneath us between Diablo and the Elite Torrent Chieftain. Uh, Fury and moving in as well. Let me send Misha around to the side and see what I could see. Not too much. We'll call her back. I do feel the like I'm gonna have a hard time sticking to people in this game just because we don't have the boars. That is going to be a playstyle adjustment. But I'll do my best. Oh God, ETC coming in and the mosh pit has landed. We are spamming charge on Misha, but I don't think it actually went off. Telling her to focus the enemy team's ETC as well. Now on to the Malfurion who unfortunately was just moved out of my range. Now our sights are set on our Tannis who we can slow and then miss with the charge again. I love playing with Diablos when I'm on skill shot characters. I just love it. I'm not throwing any shade. You're doing very well. Not throwing any shade at all. Uh, we are at 14 region globes. We need to immediately get back on the region globe path. So I'm going to head up to the top lane. Uh, the building here is already dead. Is this us? Is this our life? Isha? How are we doing? Oh, we're doing very well. Oh, Misha. Yes, Misha! Okay, throw the hunt. Basic attacks increase movement speed. This will come into play with our level 20 talent that we're going to pick up. Whoa. See what I mean about the minion damage? She doesn't even care. She doesn't even care that she's being hit by this. The unstoppable Misha build. Look at that. Uh, the objective is coming up pretty quick and I do not have a sippy cup, which sucks. But the enemy team is in a difficult spot. Do they leave top lane over and try to get the objective? It kind of looks like that's what they're going for. Hold on, I can catch up. No, I won't catch up to that. Misha will go that way and I'll start the channel. That way we have it. And I, again, I could tell Misha to stay over here and continue to ward that area for me. That's 18 region globes. Uh, I think we push middle. Don't nuke it. Just push it. And then maybe nuke bottom. Misha's here. Nice. 19 region globes. I want to nuke right here if I can. Beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh no, Misha! I didn't know she was in the base. That was complete miss micro on my part. We're gonna fall back 15 seconds until she's back in. I wanted to start that camp right there. That's where my mind was. Maybe when I was looking at Fury and I accidentally hit my trait or something. I don't. I don't know how she got pulled in there. Maybe she got swapped or something by Artanis. Uh, enemy team is ripping and tearing. And remember, I only have like two of the abilities in my kit at the moment. Uh, we do see the enemy team's ETC in front of us. I'll slow him down and pop the extra damage on Misha. That is enough to take him down, even with his team right there. Uh, Misha should have another high damage charge ready to go. And we take down Artanis with it as well. Just like that, the push is a go again. Jumpy leading the charge with Lucio, getting ahead of this enemy team. Diablo with a great apocalypse stun. And we're going to follow up with a Misha stun as well with that increased damage on the charge. Oh my God, when we layer the crowd control like that it really is a thing of beauty the birds take down the the druid that's kind of weird wait oh yeah, this isn't a minion monster or mercenary so i don't have any extra damage here or any extra mitigation here is that a damage lucio oh shit i didn't move I was scratching my face all right that's 23 <laughs> out of the 25 region gloves i need and I genuinely feel like I've been giving it the right amount of attention. And it still feel like, feels like it's taking forever. This is a slow quest. Oh, I got it. 
Uh, we did lose our Diablo in the enemy team's base, but he's already back on the field. Nothing to worry about. Misha now has 65 armor to minions, so let's go take a camp. She probably won't even need my healing anymore. I do think it's totally viable with this setup, by the way, to pick up Wildfire Bear as well. Oh, I also think the attack speed thing could come into play too. At level 20, we are gonna go for Frenzy of Kaldor. Uh, Rexar's basic attacks deal 10% more damage and B Misha's basic attacks slow the target by 20%, making it significantly easier for us to stick to our foes. Um, the heal on that level 20 talent where every time Misha attacks, she heals me. It's not terrible. I don't want it, but it's not terrible. Unfortunately, we just lost our Mephisto as I'm channeling the top nuke. We do have it. Uh, bottom lane's pushing in pretty well with the Mercenary Camp Rebel Boy in the back, taking a lot of damage though. Um, well, I can send Misha in on Asmodan or something. What if I just, what if I just nuke that? No, I'm not gonna do that. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Come on, Misha, we're leaving. We're leaving, Misha, we're fine. If these guys push in, theoretically, I can nuke here and that would be fine. Uh, this is going bottom. That looks great. If they nuke me, I mean, we are playing against the B team here, and I feel like most of my viewers know how bad it is to nuke mid. So I don't think they're going to be doing that. So unfortunately, that's going to be four nukes heading towards our bottom building right now. I could try to get Misha in position to stun it, but I think Artanis is already here. Yeah, I missed that one. Oh. That's what you want to do? That's what you want to do? Nice. Okay. Nice. Splitting their deaths right now is really, really good. Top's getting nuked by ETC. That's their last nuke. Um, I'd really like to take this. Okay, never mind. I know something else on the map I'd like to take. ETC up top, looks like he's being chased down by a few. <gasps> Alt interrupted by the jukebox. No, Misha. Misha, get ahead of him. Oh my God. <laughs> I got it, 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 I got it. I don't got it, I don't got it, I don't got it. I just used bestial wrath on accident, so let's get the fuck in here, nuking this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can core. Yeah, I don't know. We have no minions, unfortunately. I think taking this camp is fine. We do that real quick. And that'll give them something to stop them uh, before they just run towards us while we're taking boss here. Our bottom lane is getting pushed in. We probably have to deal with that soon. Uh, this is definitely a higher priority though. Enemy team doesn't have a healer for 15 more seconds. Hopefully we can kill this in that time. As we can see, they are on the way. Misha is currently taking the objective and not taking any damage. And while I'm just sitting here auto attacking, we're charging up the bonus damage on our, our Misha charge, getting that ready to go as well. Wow, that is super simple. Great route by our Mephisto. Locks down everyone in the upper path. Misha also jumping in, stunning someone there as well. Let me go ahead and just get a few auto attacks in so we can then deal big damage to the ATC as he tries to jump away. Was that a laser called in on Misha, you fucking monster? Come here, come here, come on, come back. Why are you so fast? Wait, what the fuck kind of a speed boost does Furion get? Is it every time he lands a moon fire? Oh. Uh, I don't think I can catch up. We're just gonna eat these minions. And that looks like it's going to be GG. Now with this build, you do have significantly worse engages when you don't have the boars going in and rooting all of your targets for us. But Mephisto kind of made up for that, no problem. I feel like we did some pretty good damage there. <laughs> what? How many new 
once did I shoot three? I think I shot three. That's not that many. <laughs> <laughs> Town three and four in today's game, we're easy prey. Once again, seems very niche in use compared to what you would use the Q ability for, the bird. But as you could see in this game, it had its uses. Hunter gatherer into aspect of the beast, bestial wrath, dire beast, thrill of the hunt, and frenzy of Kalimdor. Uh, what was our stats? How do we do on damage? Not bad at all. Uh, it's a zero. Thank you. I wish I could report it as a zero.